<laughs> See, I told you. I told you. I fucking told you that's what he was going to do. I know. He's so like, <laughs> dumbasses. That we, we, had, dumbasses. we had nothing better to come up with. So you want to tell them what the fuck we're doing? See, Dad knows we're dumbasses. He doesn't think we're dumbasses. I've known. Day one. He's known since the first time he saw us run. He don't run. He skips. <laughs> it's it's like a happy run. It's a skip. <laughs> so, you want to introduce what the fuck we're doing? <laughs> Alright, so we are doing the Ghost Chili Queso Challenge. It's not even a challenge. It's literally, we have some... Ghost Chili Queso in the fridge, and we want to see... Uh, who could last longer eating it for a video? <laughs> we we, literally, we don't have any other ideas for videos that we can do to post today. And since this is about the only thing we're capable of doing at this point in time, in order for us to put up a video for today, yep. that's what we're going to do. Because it's been a while since we put up something on a Friday. Yep. But... This will definitely be, hopefully it'll be something you guys like, because we're going to be in pain. I'm not going to be in pain. Your mouth's going to fucking hurt, though. My vagina's going to hurt. Oh, yeah? Yeah. My, my vagina's definitely going to hurt after this. Mmm. I, I feel all those feminist comments coming I, eventually. I totally wanted to say something right there, but I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to edit it out, though. So, first chip. It's not that hot, though. What? I'm watching. <laughs> I'm learning from the pros. I've that seen you eat. I, I've seen you eat food before. I've seen you eat food before too. It's a natural human thing to do. I'm not gonna lie; it's a lot spicier than it was last time. Mm. My cover. I just didn't expect it to hurt my tongue so fast. I told you. It's been sitting there. It's gotten spicier. The weird thing when it comes to ghost chili is there's like a small part of it that's like always <coughs> bitter. <coughs> Shut up. I used to eat ghost chili salsa like nothing, but for some reason this queso, it like gives me struggles. Chowing through it, <laughs> not even talking to the camera anymore, just eating and eating. Right now, because it's actually really good. It, it is delicious. Mmm, so good, so good. Mmm. Oh. Don't run. It's really good. It's just while I was eating that one, more saliva filled my mouth and I didn't <laughs> taste the food anymore. You know why um, your mouth fills with saliva? Because hmm. you're about to throw up. Seriously? No. I was... Actually, yeah. So that feeling you get when your mouth gets really watery is uh, the feeling you get before you throw up. Mm. That's how much I have left. And, uh. Yes, Alex the, is a man and I'm a boy. And the reason why it feels like that is it's actually trying to protect your mouth. Mm. Yeah, so the saliva is actually coating the inside of your mouth so that when you throw up, mm. the acids from your stomach don't destroy your mouth. Okay. So the reason why your mouth is getting so, uh, saliva -y right now is a natural reaction to. All the spices. Well, it's not even spices. It it is actually um, chemicals. Okay. The capsaicin and shit. Yep. <coughs> Shut up. <coughs> I'm awesome. Oh yeah, I'll just fucking eat all the queso in one chip. Go for it. I am. 
I'm about to finish my bowl before you. Look at that amount of queso. No, I can't tell if the shaking is because you normally shake. Mm. Or dehydration shakes. Or because it's actually somewhat spicy. Eating it when it's large. When it's a large amount of queso all at once. Doesn't burn near as much. Just like scarring my throat. <coughs> And now the, what'd you call this? Your esophagus? Yeah, that burns like a motherfucker. Well, now you're pretty much in your stomach. Oh. So, it is clear to say that Alex beat me. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't like doing this. I'll totally do this again. No, if this, if this gets like a bunch of views and you guys all like it and want us to make another one, we'll totally do it again. Please don't. Uh, my, my stomach hurts now. <laughs> oh, it's like that queso, that big old glob of queso made for my stomach. Oh my god, it's like a little fucking war. Yep. I'm not gonna lie, my mouth is actually on fire right now. My mouth ain't on fire, my stomach's on fire. Oh my god. Why do you have to be so far away from me, Rockstar? Also, we have nothing to drink. Nope. So. Oh. So, how'd you like doing our first? This is oh. so, <laughs> weird. so bad. I I've decided from now on I'm just gonna make you do things. Oh. Uh. Oh my god. It's like. It's like the war of attrition in my stomach. Do, do you know what a war of attrition is? The war of 1812? No. Fuck, no, no. In all honesty, I know more about the war of attrition than I did in school by watching Game Grumps talk about it in a Let's Play once. Uh, a war of attrition is basically a, a war in which one side just tries to wear the other side down. Okay. Yeah. So, it's not even killing people. It's trying to take as many resources away from the other side as you possibly can. So it's like back in the old days where you cut off supply routes. Yep. From towns and castles. Yep. So you can make them starve and things. And, and, and you don't, and the whole point is not to kill the other side. It's to maim them as bad as you possibly can to where they can't fight anymore, but they're still alive. Yeah. Yeah. So... Would that include when they throw, like, the diseased pig over the wall and get everybody sick? If you're talking about when, uh, the Mongols would throw plague victims over into, over city walls, yeah. Okay. People who died of the plague, yeah. They, they, they really did that. I got told it was a pig in middle school. No. They, they really, they took um, people who died of the plague, put them on a catapult, and shot them over. Was it an effective method? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, there was no way to stop the plague. <laughs> they couldn't just send in their sanitation, the sanitation crews? <laughs> you know, in uh, Italy? Yeah. Actually, um, one of the cities... The reason why their plague outbreak was so under control mm. was because um, if you had any form of a plague, mm. like if you were starting to show symptoms, they uh, locked you in your house and burned it down. Wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand. Oh my god. I understand where that would. Fuck, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> There's still queso left in there. And, oh. Not much. You got really close to finishing it. Not much. Uh, well, this has been Eli and Alex bringing you the queso, no, the ghost chili queso challenge where Alex is victorious. I'm starting to sweat and my tummy hurts. Just gonna poop. I really don't want to poop this out. 
It's gonna be hot. I know. It's gonna it's gonna be like a fireball of pins and needles with razor blades. Dude, you don't even know. The other day, I let's not go into this when the camera's rolling. Okay, <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, but uh, like he said, he lost. Dude, I honestly looked over there at the camera, and I'm like, what the fuck? My case is sitting over there. I'm drinking my name brand black can with words on it. Just drink it. And figure out what can it is. I'll give you a high five. Yeah, that's not happening. Oh my 